Hey gang, it's Will from Tessa and I'm at Maker Fair 2015 with Warren. You guys have built a bike that looks a little different than anything I've seen before here. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what you've done and what your kind of goals were when you were designing the 21st century bike? Sure. Uh, this is the Denny bike. It was built originally for a contest with the Oregon Manifest. Uh, the idea was to build the perfect bike for Seattle. And in Seattle we have a lot of hills and we have a lot of dark and a lot of rain. So the bike itself is built for Seattle by having an e-assist hub here on the rear that kicks in automatically. You don't have a throttle or anything else to worry about. It looks at the power and that you're exerting to pedal. And if you need help, it gives you help. So it's not it's not an electric bike or an electric motorcycle. It's just to give you that make you make you pedal like Lance Armstrong when you're going up exactly, the hill. Exactly, exactly. So the e-assist pub is one piece. You can also see we have a lighting system on this. The idea is this is for commuters, right? This isn't for your hardcore roll up one leg of your pants cyclist. This is for the guy that wants to get into work or gal that wants to get into work and ride this every day. So we gave the, the lighting system to make it look kind of like a car. So we have turn signals on the front that'll do left and right. Um, we have a, a brake light here that will flash and uh, kick, keep you safe on the road. We also have halo lights underneath to give you a greater presence. Seattle's pretty dark, mm -hmm. so we needed that additional lighting presence for you. Um, and that, so that's kind of the lighting system. The idea, again, is to make you look like a car, make you more present on the road. And, and you mentioned not having to roll up your pants legs. You're yes. using a belt drive system instead we, of a chain. We are. The belt drive system here is from Gates. Um, it's made it into the, the e-assist hub. So there's nothing that you need to worry about. You don't have to lube it. You don't have to do anything for it. It just is there, and uh, it's it's really responsive, um, clean, and it's really quiet too, which is an awesome thing. You don't have any chain rattle as you go through it. Do you have multiple gears on this then? Yeah, this uh, this is from SRAM, and the hub has the, the motor in it, and then it has the microcontroller, and it has two different gear ratios. Okay. So it's got a low to get you up the hills, and then a high for when you're cruising. Awesome. And the last feature of the bike is the handlebar. Mm -hmm. So this is a patent pending bar. This is designed to be your U-lock. So if you're on your bike and you get to wherever you want to be and you want to lock it up, you can pull the bar apart. It's easier on the other side. Take this, <laughs> run it back through carefully. Hook, hook your pole. Yeah, hook your pole, lock it up, and off you go. Oh, so you can get both wheels without having to take anything off. Yes, and if you just want to take a quick jaunt into a store, did I mention it's made of steel? Uh, it seems sturdy. <laughs> it's very sturdy. Uh, you can just take one end off, wrap it or their handlebar around a pole, and lock it up on the bike. So running to get coffee versus in, inside the shop all day. Exactly. Um, very cool. And you have onboard power and you're, you're powered by Intel's Edison chip, right? We are powered by Intel's Edison chip. Intel's Edison chip bridges the system for us. So we have an RF Duino in the handlebar to actuate it as a Bluetooth lock. Mm -hmm. we oh, have an, wait, so you can undo the lock from your phone? Oh yeah. Neat. Of course you can. Um, we also have a mechanical lock just in case. But yeah, it's designed so you hit a button on your phone. John's got the app right there. You can lock and unlock it. The Edison acts as a bridge for us. It takes the Arduino that's controlling the whole lighting system, the RF Duino that's controlling the bar, and gives us Bluetooth to the RF Duino and then Wi-Fi out to the app. So it brings all the system together. It also integrates down with the eAssist hub mm -hmm. to give us the power meter stats so you can get some idea of you know how much energy you're exerting, how far you've traveled. And then everything's powered off of the battery that's right here, right? It, or no, 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 there's a high volt and a low volt. Our high volt is the uh, our 36 volt removable rechargeable LiPo, mm -hmm. and that powers just the rear motor. And that's, of course, that's removable, so when you get to work or whatever, you, you take it with you uh, and uh, top it off as needed. All of our lights and components are powered off of a front dyno, a five volt front dyno. So essentially uh, that, all your lights are always gonna be active and always ready for you. And the brain of the, the bike is always gonna be ready to tie in too and after you have it. Awesome, well thank you so much. Um, if people wanna find out more about this, and uh, is this gonna be for sale or is this just a concept? There were, there is, this one is our concept. This is, we call this Denny Next. We keep iterating and changing it as it evolved. There is a production version called Denny. If you go to dennybike.com, you can check it out. Um, it's hopefully gonna release sometime in October. Fuji Bikes is building it for us. Beautiful, thank you guys so much, and we'll have more at Maker Fair 2015. See you guys soon.